Aloha, and welcome back to another session of Kupuna Smart. My name is Derek Bell. I'm happy to be your host again today. Today, I will be presenting to you healthful apps. And by healthful, I mean with extended use of these apps, I do believe that they will bring positive health benefits to your life. But before we get started, once again, I want to direct your attention to the help hotline number, which is right below here. If you've been experiencing any issues with your Alcatel tablet as of recent, call, go ahead and call this number. Uh, you'll be prompted to leave a voicemail. Um, the number is 984-3583. You'll be prompted to leave a voicemail. Leave your, your name, your Alcatel number, as well as the current issue you're experiencing, and a friendly help person will uh, connect with you shortly. So again, today, the topic is healthful apps. So we'll uh, get this out of its sleep mode swipe up with me and we'll be using the handy play store so um, while I showcase some of these apps we'll be installing some while we'll be looking at the details of others that we won't dive in so deeply so one of the apps we will be installing onto our tablet today is called Medito M-E-D-I-T-O Medito and we will search for that and it is the top result, Medito. It's a meditation app, sleep and mindfulness. So if you're wondering what meditation and mindfulness is all about, it's about being more grounded in um, our experiences, um, feeling the fullness and feeling a uh, little more refreshed and more awake um, when we're up and about. Um, so I'm gonna skip the account setup and then go back and then uh, an alternative, or actually a complementary app to this, is the Insight Timer app. This one I won't be um, downloading onto our tablet today, but I will show you the details and some of what it has to offer. The reason I won't be downloading it is because for some of the features you do need to pay, and it asks you to pay um, rather frequently, so that might not be optimal for you, but you can see that it has live events, which is very cool. Uh, sleep sounds and stories, music, uh, circles uh, with other fellow meditators and mindfulness practices, uh, uh, anxiety practices to dec uh, decrease your anxiety, stress. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually, um, if you see these pictures down here, they give you a preview of what the app's all about. So they're very helpful to click on and swipe through. And you can see 4.9 stars. Very well reviewed. Um, another category of mindfulness or uh, men positive mental health is uh, gratefulness and gratitude. So these apps cater to gratitude practices. They're simply journaling down your, your thoughts and um, holding on to those positive moments in your day. And uh, science has really showed and research has showed that it's bo boosted the mental health of all of its participants or most of its participants. So I definitely recommend um, these two apps, Gratitude. This is the app uh, we will be downloading today. So here it is, Gratitude. It has a pink uh, blossoming heart flower. And if you hit the install button, we'll let that install. Well, I'll show you a more minimalist uh, alternative to this app called Presently. And P-R-E-S-E-N-T-L-Y, that's presently. And you'll see that it has these uh, leaves. And it's a very minimalist app. Celebrate uh, the richness of your day. So every day, you just write a simple entry in this app, and it stores it for you. So if you just want something that's very easy to get into and type a little bit, and it's, uh, it stores it all very nicely and cleanly. And um, another category that's well supported in the App Store is um, there's a kind of application available that acts as a mental health friend. And it uses cognitive behavioral therapy um, to help you see more clearly the roots of some of the emotional issues or baggage that you've been um, kind of wrestling with. And it's actually proven I've I've, in my own time, um, had experience with these apps, and they've actually proven to be uh, positive for me. So they're definitely worth looking into and seeing if they are, um, if they work for you.
the first stop we'll be looking at today is Wobot in the mental health uh, the friend category. And this is Wobot, so we will be installing it. W-O-E-B-O-T. And hit the install. The alternative is right down here. It's the Penguin Wysa. Let's type it in the search. W-Y-S-A, Wysa. And it comes up nicely. Wysa Anxiety, Depression, and Sleep Therapy Chatbot. It has a nice penguin. When I've used it uh, previously, it asks more questions than um, the other app, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, and that is all just to get to know where you're coming from better, and also just as a practice for yourself. And you'll, you'll find out more about your own self using this app as well. But um, I'll be showcasing the other app. And then finally, there is a Peaceful Sounds app, which is very simple. And they're just peaceful nature sounds and other kinds of sounds that you can leave playing in the background for a time. It's called Sleep Sounds. And the app we're looking for is, um, it's hard to see. It's this third option, Sleep Sounds Relax and Sleep Relaxing Sounds. And we'll be installing this app today. And last but not least, um, I do want to briefly introduce a social app for seniors. I haven't explored it because I actually don't have the ability to do so. But I found that there's an app existing called Stitch. And Stitch um, is right here, a social community for anyone over 50. It functions similar to Facebook, but I believe. But if you notice, it has only 10,000 downloads. So it's a growing community. There's maybe just a handful of people who live on Maui, but it's worth the download. You'll be able to connect and possibly find friends um, with others around your age. But do be cautious with this app. Um, if you're chatting to someone, make sure that if they ever um, want to meet you in person, make sure it's in a public setting uh, that's safe and very well populated. So um, remember, scammers, uh, scammers come in many forms, and they, they might utilize any of these services. So use it, um, use it, but be aware. And, but you can make great connections, nevertheless, through these apps. But this app, I won't be showcasing today. I can't showcase it. Um, and if you have a mobile phone um, and you're a pocket size, something you can fit in your pocket, I'll just go ahead and uh, just briefly introduce to you two walking apps that you can download on your uh, mobile phone. Map My Walk. This one, you need, to, um, you need to have an email. Register an email with it. It's called Walk with Map My Walk. And it tracks your um, distance while you're walking around the neighborhood or wherever you want to walk. That's a great app. Um, and also Walking for Weight Loss is a free app offered on the Android store. And here it is, Walking App, Walking for Weight Loss. This is another nice app that um, has more plans that are tailored towards um, building your uh, stamina, your endurance in your walks. And so it's also a good option. But I won't be showcasing that one as well today. So let's see if those apps have installed yet. So if you uh, hit the home button right here, and then slide your finger up, we'll be looking through to see if Medito installed. And here it is, M-E-D-I-T-O. It has like a cursive M as its emblem. And they say we'd like to automatically collect info about um, how you're using the app so they can make the app better. And that's all right. So accept. And you can see that they have it categorized. Um, there's different categories depending on what you're feeling in the day. Getting started, beginner and intermediate courses, if you want to try sleep or go through any of these categories that are relevant to you. There's a lot. We'll try sleep. So sleep, and then you can read about the pack over here. And then it will ease you into a peaceful and restful sleep. And meditation, there are sleep stories, ambient nature sounds, as well as ambient tones and music. 
if you want to select the meditation, you can see that these are all free, which is great about the app. Um, so if, let's say, we're doing Calming Worry, which is a 14-minute track, we have an option between two narrators and an option to play background sounds in the mix if we want to, like a Springfield. And then uh, we also ha have the option to download this onto our phone if we like it enough. And then if you hit the play button, which is down in the bottom right corner, it will load it and buffer it, and it will start this. Now what's nice about this app, if um, you were away for a minute or two, let's say you're on minute three, I can, you can slide it. I'm on minute 425. You're able to slide it backwards to the place where you'd like to begin again. Some apps don't have this feature where you can rewind it so easily, so that's a nice feature. So this is a great app. I recommend it. Um, there is, on some of these selections, there are more narrators available. You can find the voice that calms you the most and brings you the most peace. Well, for now, we'll return to home. If you want to close out of the app so it's not running in the background, you click on these three horizontal lines in the bottom right, and you can slide your finger out like that. And then hit home again. The next app is the Gratitude app. And this is a nice app right here, Gratitude. And this is loading right now. So welcome to Gratitude. This is your space to practice gratitude. And then they, um, they're transparent with what they promise you. You can read their terms of use down here. You promise your own data, no accounts, full transparency, ad free. So sounds great. And then you can choose from what's your main goal in life to be more joyful. How did you find the gratitude app? Just um, you can select any of these looking around the app store. The most important to you. Practicing gratitude I selected. And then it curates a plan based on what you selected. Then you can set reminders for how often you'd like to open this app. So here are the reminders that are currently set. I believe if you would like to uh, change the times that you see here, I don't know if you can see it well, you just tap in there. And then you can adjust the time. It has a clock, an analog clock right here. I can say like 5.30 every day if I wanted to, PM. There's an AM and PM, you select the one that uh, you want, then OK. And, uh, and then once you selected the times that you prefer for all of these, or if you don't want any reminders at all for them, you can just turn it off by selecting that uh, on, off and on switch. So I'm ready. And you're all set. So on the bottom, you can see, well, in the center first, take me to my journal. Um, but I'll say I'd like to look around first. So the features in this app available are journal and if you select that middle button right here, um, you just select, um, you type in this type box, I am grateful for. I am grateful for, um, it's great if you're specific about something. So you can type something very specific about your day here. And then you can hit that checkbox on the bottom. And then this will be stored. So I am grateful for Kupuna Smart. And then hit, hit the check mark, and then you can press this orange arrow. And then because, because I get to help any kupuna. And then you can select this blue check mark here. And then select the orange arrow. Then high five, take the next step. So here, there are different challenges. You can select them. Um, it's not necessary to do. You can always just use it more casually and update your journal daily by hitting this plus button. And I am grateful for because the same format. There are um, affirmations, which is a practice that is useful for some people. So if you want to use it, it gives you a preview of what affirmations are. They're self-talk. Then you select five of these options, and then you reorder them. So you know, you can say, um, you hold onto it. Sometimes it's a bit hard to hold onto the two lines. You can drag it down. So I'm dragging happiness, cheerfulness to five. 
for example, been done. So then these give um, preset affirmations based on those that you selected. And if you're like, yeah, I really like that. I'd like to repeat that every day. Then you can add some of these. And then once you're done, right here, I'm done. And then you can play it afterwards. And then it saves it in like this affirmation library right here. If you don't like all this extra features, you can always use the Presently app that I showcased earlier. That's very simple, very easy to use, very similar with just hitting a plus button and typing away. There's the Daily Zen, which is just some quotes for the day that are nice and positive, like quotes. And then there's the Vision Board. So Vision Board, exploring this, um, you, you can make uh, visions for your coming year or years, and then you can select. It says, what do you want to manifest? Basically, what do you want um, in these coming years? You can say fulfilling career, for example. Then type a little about it if you'd like, and then hit next. So what I found out that this is actually just a collage board. Um, you, so you can select from your phone, or you can select some of these images if you like them. And then it'll build a collage board of images that you can return to. If any of these inspire you, for example, you can add. Oh, I, if you can click off of the box if it shows up, if you hit something by accident. So you can go ahead and be like, I like this image, hit the check mark. And then it has one uh, photo, and you can tap on it anytime to see it full screen. It's, it's an all right feature. Um, if you like, um, if you like having all these features available and you can see using them, this is a great app. If you want to just journal every day, Presently is the, I think Presently would be the preferred app. So um, you can select these three horizontal bars, slide up, we're off to the next app. The next app is the mental health friend, and that app is called Wobot, W-O-E-B-O-T, Wobot. And here's Wobot, so you can get started. It says login. This is optional. You don't have to create an account. Its mission is to make every day a little better. So you can create your account, or you can skip in the upper right. You don't have to. It's only if you'd like to recover your information if, um, or access it if you're on another device, like on your phone. If you want to access the same account through your phone, you can do that. But if you're only going to use it here, you can say, yes, skip. And it's not a crisis service, so it's just a self-help tool. So I agree. And it, and it has some other information before I use it. So hi there, I'm Robot. And what's nice about this app is you're given these simple, simply made, uh, pre, uh, pre-made texts. Um, what's your first name? This one. You have a type box down here. You'd have to answer. And then it gets to know you like this. Josh, that's a nice name. And thanks. So Wobot's explaining what it does. I'm an emotional assistant, like a wise little person you can consult with during difficult times. Sounds cool. Then it'll start introducing more of what it does. So it's been trained in CBT. Then just to show you what CBT is. It stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. It's a structured, effective way to challenge how you're thinking about things. Then, any examples? Sure. So here's an example. Say you're nervous about a presentation. Had, to, had the thought, I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'd ask you, Josh, are you predicting the future here? And then I'd invite you to rewrite that thought so when you gave your talk, you'd be unburdened by negative self-talk and be your awesome self. Nice. So they, it's, been effect, it's been tested by Stanford University. So every day it'll ask you um, to check in, uh, just ask about your mood, how you're doing, and um, right here. And every day it'll check in and do an, an exercise or two with you. Um, it's up to you if you want to just stop it at any point. Like, yeah, I just wanted to check in with it, but it's getting too long. You can always just close out of the app. 
So no, no pressure. Yeah, but it's, it's worth it staying for the whole exercise because I, I find a lot of them to be well made and well presented. So that's a nice, uh, nice app that you have available, Wobot. And then lastly, there is the simple sleep sounds app. And this app, um, if you're having trouble sleeping, you can always try it. It has high quality audio tracks of nature sounds. So you can cancel or never show. It asks if you want to go premium. So never show is a great option if you don't want to make any purchases whatsoever. And then you can see as you scroll through, there's a lot of nature sounds. Like if you're like, yeah, I'm really, I want to hear some crackling fire. It sounds peaceful. Then what's nice about here is there's a timer in the center. I, th I believe you can see it well. And if you uh, tap on the timer, you can set it. Uh, you can set it to one hour or 30 minutes if you don't want your tablet to still run if you've fallen asleep already. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Make sure your volume's up to uh, preferred, whatever your preferred volume level is to hear it. Um, and you can either set it like that or with the volume button on the side. So it's a nice app, very simple, very easy to navigate. And um, if you let's go through the menus really quickly. On the bottom bar, there's sounds, custom. You can see that there is rain and thunders. They are descriptions of more custom sounds, custom made audio. And I believe what's cool about this is you can select more than one. So if you want to hear rain on your window, as well as wind, you can hear them together. And click the sound button to save your custom sound. So here it's pointing to the sound button right there. And you can save it like that as such. And save custom. Um, also, here. Also, you can adjust the volume on either of these tracks if you're like, yeah, I kind of just want a softer wind blowing, you know? You can adjust the volume by, by making the slider wherever you'd like it to be. And then save that custom sound. And then you can give it a name and a picture right here. So name one. Oh. And then, oh. let's see. If you're having trouble getting out of this, hit the back button, <laughs> which is down here. So name one. That's a good thing to know because sometimes you get stuck on here. And even if you hit enter, the blue button, it doesn't get out. Always go down here to the bottom left back button. Well, it's in the bottom left right now. But, um, and then you can hit the check mark. Then um, there's an ad. It has some ads. So lastly, um, we're running out of time. So I want to showcase to you just a few YouTube channels that I believe are very, very helpful with physical health because we've been exploring mental health. So if you go to the YouTube app, YouTube, we've been there. I just want to showcase to you these channels. Um, if you find them helpful, please use them. But before you do, know that any kind of physical activity, everyone has their own abilities and limitations. So know, know yours. Don't do anything that's too strenuous. That Know your body, and there's no need to exhibit the full range of motion that the exercisers are incorporating in the video. But these, uh, with that being said, perhaps give some thoughtful consideration to consulting your physician beforehand. Um, but what's nice is these channels are actually designed with seniors in mind or with disabled people in mind so that um, anyone with chronic pain can join along and it's not, it shouldn't be too strenuous. But if you're in doubt, consult your physician. Always. So um, the first of these channels is Kara Kircher. Kara Kircher, K-I-R-C-H-E-R, first name C-A-R-A. -A. Then you can see that she has some chair yoga routines as well as um, a lot of chair yoga. I believe there is Tai Chi and Qigong right here. So if, you, if you're like, uh, like Tai Chi and Qigong, you can tap on the video. And there's an ad. As soon as the ad plays and it lets you skip the ad on the bottom right, you can skip it. And then you can 
uh, go through this this um, set of exercises with the presenters. And if you really like the video, again, there is the like button here to save it into your like library, your like playlists, and you can subscribe as well if you want to follow all of their videos that they have to offer in the future. So remember those two buttons, they're, they're great. So you can always return to those videos in your subscriptions here. Um, and here's the channel on the top. And it sorts it just by her channel, so it's cool. And then um, the other channels that I want to show you is Yes to Next. This is another option you have to you available. And they are an aerobic and walking in place channel. You can see that they also have core workouts. So this is a nice channel also to follow. And you would subscribe in the same way that you subscribe to the other channel. And then there's More Life Health Seniors. More Life Health, oh, Health Seniors. Right here, exercises for stronger legs. Some of these might be, um, you know, might be relevant to you or you might want, there, if you scroll through the videos, you might find one that looks um, more easygoing, like a stretch for each area of the body. And, um, and there, there are some channels that also have these videos, but they're, they aren't tailored towards you all the time. Um, YouTube is nice because you can always use YouTube to listen to music. Um, it's a great to listen to mellow music or music from that you've enjoyed in the in your past. It's a nice way to wind down and to kind of like breathe more fully. So music helps a lot, as well as just watching some positive inspiration like the dodo. If if you like to follow animals or if you like animals and nature, you can see inspiring stories of animals being rescued or saved. If this is relevant to you, uh, the channel is the dodo. It's nice to follow sometimes. And use YouTube. YouTube is great. You'll find uh, very peaceful playlists and things of the sort there. YouTube is better for physical health. So um, just be aware and yeah, just be careful with your body. And thank you so much for joining today. I hope any of these apps or channels that you'll, you'll use them, you'll integrate them, and you'll find some of them helpful, even if it's one or two. That's awesome. And thank you again for joining us on Kupuna Smart and the help hotline number. If you have any questions, is 984-3583. Thank you so much and aloha.